Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to like reintroduce myself. I feel like some reintroducing needs to happen. Um, yeah, I, don't, I, I also think, I don't know, you'll hear some about my father in some poems, but um, yeah, I was just kind of thinking like, oh, my poems aren't really gay enough for today. <laughs> appreciate the fact that they're able to study, if you put it like that. Um, <laughs> so this, this poem is called Reading List, and it's about that. My classmate moans. This term's reading does not fly into our laps as origami handouts, chucking quotes into our ears, perched on our shoulders as we scan the gradually blurring shapes. We have to find our books ourselves. <laughs> I think of my father, the stepping stones of his spine bent over battered texts by candlelight, his pencil gripping paper as if it was a handhold on some steep cliff face, sweating to avoid spraying red the rocks of my grandfather's disbelief. I think of a girl with a rag shirt and cracked heels, lugging water from a well in the black, racing searing dawn to the cool hut where the musk of her brother's chalk wets her heart with the shapes she will never be allowed to trace in the dirt. So forgive me if I don't harmonise with the lament of your minor key. I cannot forget the weight of this list, its rare and graceful nighting, and the luck I have been dealt 
to always be so full of belly that I must, for the sake of space, turn my attention to the steady and hungry gorge of my brain. Before I do this, I want to thank uh, Ishan and Jasmine, and um, yeah, you've all been amazing, and it's a pleasure to be here, and I hope to see you all again at other various events. Um, so this is, I used to write really ranting poetry, and then I stopped writing such ranting poetry, and then recently I kind of moved more back into it. Um, Maybe because I, I, I was kind of stopped being sad and started being angry again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who was that? <laughs> Got a whooping angry angel. <laughs> and <a thumbs> up. <laughs> what else do you need in life? Um, yeah, so I just got, I just, uh, I was doing this event as part of this thing called the Wilding Festival, which was a kind of feminist event in London, um, and I decided to write something for it. And ideally, I would not have the paper, but. Than you, so it's called The Essentials. They gave me a shopping voucher for war. I can get a slap of bronze blush at each cheekbone, a red pout. On the eyes, dark and deep, smudged into a feline purr, lashes like a spider's burial ground. I will need ballerina posture. A walk like a panther on heat. Cellophane skin that does not give way to hair or sweat. I'll need a plastic surgeon to plump my curve to that of a Brazilian transsexual. I'll need a signed copy of Always Be Productively Viable by Mother Nature. I will need this not signed in menstrual blood, please. <laughs> because menstrual blood does not exist. I will also buy Mother Nature a new wardrobe and get her out of those hemp cargo pants. <laughs> I will need my clothes to sign post me public property, a toy for a phone booth quickie, activated by wolf whistle. I will need a sickly, lavender-scented vaginal spray. I will need a muzzle, a valium for compliance, a penchant for occasional but inclusive lesbianism. I will need to forget who I am what I want, what I can bring to this world in cerebral, spirited, bombastic fireworks. I don't want this. I don't want accessories for a war against myself. This is not the kind of fighting any of us should still be doing. Thank you very much.